This is a niche radio podcast. Subscribe to this podcast on iTunes or log into www.nicheradio.co.za. All right, welcome to the Super Dads Extra Extra that we have. Um, we forgot to, we have Dion again and we forgot to cover uh, um, Water Smart. It's another initiative part of life saving. Uh, where it has an education program and definitely it's it's one of those good ideas to actually get them into the schools because uh, water is precious, a very valuable commodity and we want to learn how to actually utilize and stretch it out more so it can benefit us, so we can be in the water and enjoy it in our bathing, drinking and other utilities. But Dion, let's just quickly cover this again and uh, tell us more about um, uh, Water Smart. Yeah, Water Smart is a South Africa initiative uh, where we go into the primary schools and we actually do a 35 minute presentation to grade fours. And luckily now the education department actually put it in the curriculum for grade fours the last two, three years. So we've got facilitators go out and they teach them the basics, the rules of going to a beach or a dam or aquatic facility, how they can do it safely. And we've been nicely supported now by our, our patron, um, Princess Charlene Monaco, who's come on board to, to give us a for the support of this and also our national sponsor. So it is open if, if schools want to uh, have the World Swan presentation presented, they can approach Life Saving South Africa and let's see if we've got the resources to be able to assist you with that. So is this uh, nationally or is it only more targeted at certain, in certain areas? It, currently it is national. Uh, it, we, we've been running for two years, it's been growing. Uh, this last year, for the, sorry, the last two years, we've now reached approximately 40,000 learners have received the, the presentation, and we're operational in the seven different provinces, and that is expanding out now in 2019 uh, to the four provinces within South Africa. It's a totally free um, presentation. It doesn't cost the school anything. It's covered by uh, our national sponsor and with help from uh, the Department of Sport and Recreation. have just come on board last month to put some money in behind it also. So give us some examples uh, for the holidays coming up now. We're obviously going to have a lot more water evaporation. Uh, you are thankfully having uh, rain coming with your side. Uh, we having a dry spell. Uh, we did have some rain uh, this morning, which is quite fortunate. Uh, but yeah, what are, what are some uh, you know useful water smart tips for our super dads and, and listeners out there? Okay. And look, it's, uh, it's, it's not there teaching us how to conserve water. It's, how, it's tips on how to enjoy water safely. So it's, it's basically water safety tips. So when you go to a swimming pool, go to the beach, how do you stay safe? How, how do you uh, float? Where do you swim? And all that. And it's hitting at the age of those 10-year-olds, which are one of our high-risk uh, age groups. All right. So it's, it's so about... So it's, it's creating an environment one builds a cognitive bias towards nature. So again, being outdoors, being out in the sun and learning how to create a, um, a fair relationship to nature and, and the water. And that then has a nice knock-on effect of you know, respecting water usage at home and what actually happens in the oceans. Because one of the worst things is when one rocks up to the beach or these public facilities and you see all this horrible trash everywhere and it always ruins the experience. Oh, I can only agree with you on that. Uh, and yes, I think every coastline in the world is now suffering from the, the plastic and the sewage that's coming out of the beaches. And there's just too many humans and not enough water around. But yes, it, it is. It, it does uh, blend well with it. And the Department of Environmental Affairs is also very supportive of our water spot program. So yes, uh, hopefully we're getting more and more support and we can extend this in, throughout the country to all schools in, in grade four. Super. So there you have it, our listeners. So contact lifesaving.co.za. Uh, details will be in the show notes. And like we said, this Water Smart program for schools is free. Um, normally to target grade fours, but I, I assume it can actually go for any uh, age group, uh, which will be applicable because nothing worse than these teenagers now that just want to stay indoors and think they're too cool for the water. They rather want to get them out there and not being addicted to their Xboxes and gaming because uh, it's only going to detract from their cognitive bias towards nature. And if they become little 
beep, 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 beeps of, of, of focus on themselves, uh, then we're going to lose out uh, on it because we're going to have a lot more pollution um, and cigarette buds and, and, and cans of soda and, and chip packets in the ocean. So definitely, I think we should have it on, on different scales of, of the education system. Dion, thanks so much okay. again. And uh, we look forward to having you yet again on the show. because I'm sure there's going to be an extra, extra, extra in the near future. Yeah, there's plenty more we can add to the show. So thank you for the invite. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. For more, visit www.nicheradio.co.za.